Adecker's Remnant 2 got a slew of updates over the last week, so we thought we would come in and take another look, and we were pleasantly surprised. There is a few little tweaks to our previous video, and as you can see here, we are up into 10 hours now. This got three hotfixes in as many days, and unfortunately, not all of them were very useful. Just a couple of minor bug fixes, although it seems to repack the entire game every time which is incredibly annoying, especially if you have this installed on your SD card, as it takes around 45 minutes each time. But as you can see here with cap 30 frames per second, it's running a lot smoother. Ignore the wattage that you'll see in the SteamOS 3.5 bar. This is to do with one of the docks that I'm testing out that seems to be drawing a bit of additional power while I was testing these graphics. So just bear that in mind. It is about two to three watts lower on the Steam Deck itself. Now you'll notice that for the most part, my gameplay was actually running now at the Intel XESS Ultra quality. We can drop this back down to quality and it will be a bit smoother. And it does also save about half a watt. Not a huge amount of difference, but if you do want a slightly more stable 30 frames per second, then you can drop it back down to our original settings. But what we have found is that in most situations with very minor dips, it is actually performing just as good with ultra quality XESS now. So if you do want to have slightly better graphical fidelity without so much fuzziness around the character, then you can now up that to the 30 frames per second cap and the XESS set at ultra quality, as you can see here. Now you will notice that VSync is still off. That is still an issue on the Steam Deck. Do not cap the frame rate on Steam Deck or use VSync on Remnant 2 as it will give you severe input latency and make it barely playable. So low settings, 30 frames per second cap and XESS at ultra quality will now give you an, an awesome playthrough on Remnant 2 on the Steam Deck. Let us know in the comments below if you've noticed any other performance differences. This is definitely running a lot smoother and it just feels a lot more snappier with the movements and reactions as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.